in a year that saw transformational change to the way we work, learn, live, and travel, perhaps no industry was better suited for a stress test of their virtual systems than healthcare. Wired Brand Lab recently sat down with Athena Health, a tech leader in driving clinical and financial results for healthcare organizations, to discuss the innovations that are transforming virtual care. When people talk about virtual healthcare today, examples that people most frequently talk about include telehealth, but there are other forms of virtual care that can be provided. Virtual care is a comprehensive term that refers to providing care, medicine, research, and management in a decentralized manner. It includes everything from phone calls and emails to video consultations, at-home diagnostic tests, and wearables and health apps that collect biometric data. For example, people who are getting physical therapy might wear a Bluetooth device, and they'll go through the motions of doing that physical therapy, and that Bluetooth-connected device will help them to see in real time whether or not they're going through motions in the right way. Virtual care might seem like a modern practice, but as early as 1879, just four years after the telephone was invented, it was used to remotely diagnose medical issues. In the past century, new technologies have enabled medical staff to deliver care to patients on land, at sea, and even in space. And as COVID-19 gripped the world in 2020, it became a catalyst for the rapid adoption of these technologies. The hope with virtual care is that it will make it easier for care providers to see patients the way the patients want to be seen, but also the way the providers want to see patients. As this access increases, the data that is exchanged and collected must be protected, and the industry goes to great lengths to ensure its security. Technology that are being used to transfer personal health information of a patient to anyone should be HIPAA compliant. We're focusing us as physician, us as healthcare provider, on the security of data. With modern day safeguards, such as end-to-end -end encryption and peer-to-peer -peer connection, your personal data is concealed through every stage of the process. These protocols are crucial to ensure that patients and providers feel confident adopting the new technologies that will unlock the most exciting benefits of virtual care. I'm wearing today a watch, so I can count the number of steps I do every day. I can measure my resting heartbeat, but at the same time, this watch can connect to my phone. My phone can connect to an electronic medical record, and this record can be analyzed virtually by different provider. Data and video conferencing help to round out a patient's profile, providing essential information that could lead to timelier interventions and deeper doctor-patient relationships, no matter where you live, nor where the leading expert in your network practices. When you think about healthcare, it's not an industry that's known for delivering the best consumer experiences. The promise of technology is that it helps cut through the noise. It allows healthcare providers to focus on what really matters to them, providing healthcare. With advances that we're making in preventative care, we're gonna see a lot of benefits. Number one, we're gonna see a lot fewer hospital admissions or unnecessary visits, because we're gonna get ahead of those things. Number two, we're gonna be able to better manage wait times and also the administrative burden um, that otherwise would be uh, occurring within healthcare. And then third, we're gonna do a lot better job of prioritizing care for those patients that need it most. In the future, virtual healthcare will simply be healthcare, the tools so integrated into our lives that they become the standard. And that care will be connected and continuous. Each individual will be at the center of his organism and on in his own health. How? Basic wearables analyze different data, and all those data give information to care teams surrounding it. As devices become ubiquitous, the data they create can be de-identified and combined with AI to deliver insights that make healthcare more proactive rather than reactive. A biomarker is basically a marker of your body. The advantage to have all those digital biomarkers is basically that you can create a digital health identity of a patient. The goal of a digital twin is to identify risk factor faster and avoid a stroke or a heart attack. We've made incredible advances when it comes to virtual care, but we're still in the very early days. There are still a lot of interactions that happen in healthcare that are not connected. You know, one of the things that Athena Health is trying to do is make sure that we connect those data points over those different modalities of care across that continuum of care and bring it together through interoperability, through data standards, so that a primary care provider has all the information they need to make the right decisions. Interoperability standard is basically we all talk the same language. This watch can be connected with a phone, but only with a certain type of phone. If I want to connect this watch to another software, tablet, 
computer, a phone, and I have to make sure they are interoperable. In the next few years, we're going to be able to have different tools that are incorporated in your home, in your watch, in your phone, but maybe in your bed, in your mirror, and monitor directly your biomarker. And thanks to face recognition in your mirror, I can tell that today is going to be a good day, or you have a depressed signal. All those data combine and interconnected together, push into a more and more intelligent platform, and everything could eventually tell you your state of health and how you can expect to live longer and healthier and probably happier. As these insights deeper our understanding of individual health, technology will also help our procedures become more precise. Doctors may receive AR guidance throughout procedures, perform telesurgery with the assistance of medical robots, and use 3D printers to print orthopedic casts and prosthetics. The past year has seen a revolution in the way we engage with healthcare. And the road ahead promises new and exciting opportunities to improve the patient and provider experience. As virtual care becomes the standard, it is not only reshaping the way we deliver care, but enhancing the care we deliver.